In the vast digital ocean of YouTube, a curious phenomenon has emerged. The self-proclaimed Linux evangelist. These noble beings, draped in the robes of digital wisdom, dedicated their lives to spreading the gospel of Linux to the masses. With titles like Why Linux is the best OS ever and How Linux will change your life, they beacon the curious and the clueless alike into the world of open source operating systems. Yet, a peculiar twist lies beneath their fervent, proselytizing, a twist that reeks of irony and digital dissonance. Our story begins with the enthusiastic preamble of a typical Linux evangelist. The camera flickers on and there they are, basking in the glory of their dual monitor setup. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you why Linux is the best operating system in the world. The fervor in their voice is unmistakable, as if they are unveiling the holy grail of computing to an audience of digital disciples. They begin with the classics, Linux is free, it's open source, it's customizable. Each point is delivered with the zeal of revolutionary leader rallying their troops. You can make it look however you want, you don't have to worry about viruses. And the community, oh, the community is just amazing. But as the video progresses, an eagle-eyed viewer may notice something amiss. A notification pops up in the corner of the screen, an unmistakable Windows 10 notification. The evangelist quickly dismisses it, hoping no one notices it, but the seed of doubt is planted. Is this Linux champion, this open source savior, actually using Windows? The true dear viewer is often hidden in plain sight. As the evangelist extols the virtues of Linux, a subtle alt tab reveals that dark secret, a Windows taskbar lurking at the bottom of the screen. Perhaps a glimpse of the ironic recycle bin or a flash of the Windows Explorer betrays their true allegiance. They quickly switch back to their virtual machine where a pristine installation of Ubuntu or Arch Linux lies in wait, like a prop in a poorly staged play. Why, you may ask, will someone else so devoted to Linux spend their days toiling away in the land of Windows? The answer lies in the tangled web of convenience, familiarity and a touch of hypocrisy. Our Linux evangelist knows the script by heart. Linux is great for servers, development and customization. But when it comes to certain software or just the comfort of the familiar, Windows is their not so secret sanctuary. As they wax poetic about the terminal, they silently curse under their breath when their favorite game crashes in wine. While they praise the efficiency of the package manager, they yearn for the simplicity of double clicking an exe file. And as they tout the security of Linux, they shapelessly install the latest Windows update, hoping no one notices their betrayal. The irony reaches its zenith when our evangelist delves into the technical nitty-gritty. With a straight face, they explain how to partition your hard drive, configure your grub bootloader, and compile the latest kernel from source. Yet, their shaky mouse moments and fragrant Google search betrays their true level of expertise. It's like watching a cooking show where the chief reads the recipe of camera and bursts half the dishes. Their audience, however, is none the wiser. To the uninitiated, the jargon sounds impressive, the command seems arcane, they follow along, hoping to capture a fraction of the Guru's supposed knowledge. But little do they know, the digital shepherd is just as lost as they are, fumbling to the labyrinth of a man pages and stack overflow threads. No ad to the Linux evangelist will be complete without an ad to the fabled Linux community. The community is amazing, they proclaim, so supportive and knowledgeable. And indeed, the community is a vibrant mosaic of contributors, from seasoned sysadmins to the steady-eyed newcomers. But our evangelist interaction with this community are often limited to copy-pasting commands from forums and parroting advice they barely understand. In true, the Linux community is a double-edged sword. For every helpful guru, there is a gatekeeper demanding RTFM, read the fine manual. For every welcoming mentor, a zealot ready to chastise anyone who dares mention the reliance on proprietary software. Our evangelist tiptoes through this minefield, careful to praise the community while silently dreading the rut. And so, we come full circle. Our Linux evangelist, champion of the open source, spends their days in the embrace of Windows, their nights in the embrace of Linux, and their videos in the embrace of irony. They preach what they don't practice, teach what they don't know, and praise what they can't fully use. Yet, despite it all, they soldier on, driven by a curious mix of idealism, vanity, and the allure of YouTube ad revenue. As the video concludes, they issue a final rallying cry. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and remember switch to Linux is the best decision you'll ever make. The screen fades to black, 
and they return to their true habitat, the familiar blues and greys of Windows, where they edit their next video, one eyed on the script and the other on their notification. In the end, the tale of the YouTube Linux evangelist is a cautionary one. It reminds us to question the expertise of those who preach too loudly, to look beyond the surface of polished videos and to find our own path in the digital wilderness. For in the world of technology, as in life, the loudest voice often hides the deepest insecurities, and the truest wisdom comes not from proclamations, but from humble exploration and honest experience.